Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to jump back into Zoom and we're going to have a look at some of the new filters and studio effects that are now available within the updated client. So let's start by opening up our Zoom client. Now for these new features to work, you'll need the latest version. Now you can always check that by going to the top where you see that cogwheel and then simply clicking on statistics. Here at the bottom, you can see I'm running version 5.4.6, which has these features enabled. Now let's go ahead and start a new meeting. I'm going to click on new meeting and this opens up a brand new Zoom meeting. Now the first thing I'll do is turn on my camera so we can start looking at some of these filters and effects that are now available. We're going to join with the computer audio and we are going to turn on our video. Now here you can see I have my video feed and before I do anything, let's have a look at some of the available filters. Now here down in the bottom, you can see I have that arrow and when I click on that, I will see my video filters. I'm going to click on video filters and this will bring me to a brand new page within the settings. Now the virtual backgrounds have already been here for quite some time and we now have video filters. You can add a number of different color schemes. You can see we can adjust these here and have different ways of representing our video feed to our attendees. But we also have some special effects. I have the cinema effect, an old television and a number of other effects. Now these are all built into our Zoom client. So as you update to more recent versions or newer versions of the client, more filters will become available. They also have a number of funny filters here. And as you can see, these are very easy to use. I'm going to select none because the one I want to show you next is the studio effects. Now the studio effects are what I'm super excited about because these not only allow you to tweak little parts of the video, but it's just great fun for those times that you need to make your students happy. So let's open up the studio effects. Now these are still in beta and you can see here that we can apply these to all future meetings. Now I'm not going to use this option because I don't want to use these effects for the standard meetings. Now here you can see I can adjust the eyebrows. I can add a mustache or a beard and change my lip color. Now I'm going to show you what the standard color looks like first and then I'm going to show you what you can do with adjusting colors. So here we're going to change my eyebrows. So as you can see here, I can add a little bit of tone there. I can up the opacity and you can see I can make my eyebrows a lot darker or I can choose any of these other tones. So if you have one of those days where the way you look is not necessarily the way you would like to be featured in the video, then you can use these studio effects to change that. I can also change the color. So let's do that now. I'm going to give myself some bright green eyebrows. So let's go ahead and select green and there you go. As you can see, I now have those green eyebrows. This is great for those fun days where you have a special theme or maybe you're discussing different things and adding a bit of color to your face would be a lot of fun. We can also add a mustache and a beard. So you can see here, I can add a bit more depth to that beard and mustache. I can make it darker, I can make it lighter and have it disappear altogether. Or again, I can have all these other different types. So you can see here, I've added my mustache, a little bit of a beard, and now I'm going to give it a color. Let's go for bright blue. And now, as you can see, we have the effects added onto our camera feed. We can now also scroll down and add some lip color and this will bring it all together. So now we have some yellow lips. There we go. And this can, again, you can up that opacity. When I now close this window, you will see that this feed becomes the standard. So here, as we are having our meetings now, you can see I have all those colors on my face. This is part of the new studio effects. Now we're going to go back to the studio effects. There we go. And we're going to reset everything to the default and we are back to normal. So now when I close my settings, none of the effects are there. But again, it's just a lot of fun and it's all about keeping your students happy. So I would highly recommend that you just have a play with this and just see if any of your students notice it. You could even gradually up that opacity 
during a lesson and see who will be that first student that notices that maybe your eyebrows are getting a bit thicker or maybe you're suddenly growing a beard as you are holding your meetings. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. What are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it at all? And what do you do during your online meetings and online lessons to keep it fun, to keep your students engaged and make sure that they are loving the lessons as much as they would love them when you are in school. Now for even more tips and tricks on all sorts of educational technology, click on that suggested video at the top or click through to the playlist at the bottom. Now I hope you've enjoyed this. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.